So globe's warming, we've got human contribution to it. We talked about some of the solutions of dealing with carbon dioxide, methane, land use. Uh, big question is, can we actually solve all of this? Can we, uh, if we apply all the solutions we have, will that get rid of the global warming problem? It probably won't uh, to a full extent. And so we've got to look at both you know, mitigation within the constraints of economic feasibility, but also ad adaptation. So even if we were to solve, you know, to, or yeah, I think there's some sense we don't have the technology to solve all of that, at least not immediately, at some level we're just going to have to adapt to the weather change that's going to that's come. I, I think so. I mean, there's a lot of uh, talk about getting off of fossil fuels and, you know, reducing carbon footprint by 85 percent, let's say, by 2050. Well, that's a nice goal. The current technology really just isn't there. It's, it's really a problem of scale. Uh, we want to do as much things like solar and wind as we can, mm -hmm. but uh, we can't really scale them up to the degree that would be necessary at this point. So we do have this, obviously mm -hmm. we want to work towards a solution, but at some level we're just going to have to deal with what goes on. Now, even if we could deal with all of the human man-made component, isn't it also correct that climate has just changed throughout human history anyway and we've had to adapt? It absolutely has. Even changes of one to two degrees C, you know, one degree plus or minus, uh, have altered human civilizations repeatedly in the past. And so I think it's, it's a fair statement to say that we need to be prepared for climate change regardless of what is causing it. At the same time, at least at this point, the evidence doesn't seem to suggest that we're in some kind of runaway, you know, greenhouse warming. Okay, so we do need to <clears throat> deal with things, work towards a solution, but we also need to realize that we can't control the weather, and weather is the climate is going to change over time, and we need to be prepared to adapt and develop policies that allow us to adapt as the weather's the climate is going to change in the future. 